here we are in the Omer waiting for Shavuos. But how many of us are still getting over our disappointment that Pesach didn't bring Mashiach with Corona and all that's going on and all the news and all this weird quarantine? It felt so exciting. It felt so, so maybe, so possibly the time that we were going to get this amazing surprise and Mashiach might just come. And then Pesach came and Pesach went and I don't know about you, but we're all still in lockdown uh, with no more cupboards to clean and, and no more lettuce to chop. Just wondering, oh, that was an anticlimax. That was that was sad. And yes, we're one step closer because every day we're one step closer. And then I thought about the fact that, you know, Amuna means always being ready for Mashiach and not worrying about when Mashiach is actually going to come, but being ready every day for Mashiach. And then I thought about time, actually. <laughs> and I thought about the fact that over the Omer, you have 49 days to prepare for this monumentous, monumentous occasion of the Torah being given, of us re-receiving the Torah like we do every year and being ready for it. And the countdown and the breaking it down into all the different midas and the different spheros and all the possibilities of becoming a better person day by day by day. And when you have a goal, the outcome of that goal is very lofty and very beautiful. But to accomplish that goal, you have to break things down into time. You can't wake up one morning and be a marathon runner. You can't wake up one morning and be a saint. You can't wake up one morning uh, and, you know, be a doctor of science. If you want to have accomplish your lofty goal, you have to break it down into pieces. And what happens when you break something down into pieces is that you gave yourself a certain amount of time to accomplish it. You can say, today I'm going to do 300 meter run and tomorrow I'm going to do 500 meter run and then I'm going to do a kilometer run and then I'm going to keep that up and then after seven weeks I'm going to be ready to run a 5k or whatever your goal is. You have your goal and in order to accomplish it you need little pieces of time which means that each one of those pieces of time um, is separate from the next, allows you an opportunity but is not really about reaching the end meaning it's not about the end it's about getting to the next stage you can get to the next stage so that finally at the end of your time stretch you can you can get to the end and then I thought about when we speak about Mashiach we don't say you know one day we say even though Mashiach has the right to take its time I'm going to be there every day there's a part of me that's not saying, well, it'll come in 20 years time, so I'm going to give myself 20 years to be ready. There's a part of me that says, I don't want to be in this time climb. I want to be already there. Beholium, every day there's going to be a part of me that is ready for this. And I thought to myself about the difference between getting ready for a, a long-term event and being ready right now. And how we have this thing that we hear often, very often, but it's very hard to understand. Hashem is outside of time and whilst I'm not going to go into what it means Hashem is outside of time right now the idea that Hashem isn't before us or isn't after us Hashem is constantly with us we're the ones who take time to get ourselves ready we're the ones who take time to achieve a goal we're the ones who need to learn every day to bring a little bit of our Mashiach readiness into our life but we're the ones who work within the context of time because time gets us from a to b well if b is the love that Hashem has for us and the love that we have for Hashem and its perfection it's becoming who we want to be one of the things that we have to realize about Hashem being outside of time is that he doesn't need any preparation to love us and to be ready for us. We're the ones who need preparation. We're the ones who need time. We're the ones who need an omer to be ready for Matan Torah. God has got us any moment. So every day and any day when you feel your heart open towards a Baruch Hu, remember a Baruch Hu needs no time to be ready for our love. It's every moment of every day. Hashem is outside of time and there is not a moment that Hashem is not waiting for us. So let's take a little bit of that constant idea of, of being always ready for the for for tzedek and for mishpat and for the new time of goodness when Mashiach will come. And even when we're growing, because we grow, we need time periods to grow. Let's make sure that there's a little part of us that's ready for that every day. And let's remember that the love that Hashem has for us is not reduced to time climb. It's constant. And Hashem is always ready to love us. We just have to be ready ourselves to accept that. And uh, wishing us all a healthy 
next few weeks, Emit Hashem, and a great time climb to more greatness.